after this 30 year there may be a mutual trust mutual understanding even common desire common as welcome dear student in this class we discuss about the idea and contribution of rensis likert you know rensis likert has contributed in the field of participative management so look here we will discuss this topic in english as well as in hindi so uh, that you will get the idea more comfortably look what happened you know very well it was the failure of industrial revolution jab audyogik kranti aur safal hui there after some group of scholar undertook the charge for the reform in organization aur wahan se फिर क्या होता है तो हमारे सामने वैज्ञानिक प्रबंध सिद्धांत साइंटिफिक मैनेजमेंट थ्योरी एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव मैनेजमेंट थ्योरी एज वेल एज बिहेवियोरल थ्योरी इवॉल्व देयर आफ्टर व्हाट हैपन अगेन द फेल्योर द लिमिटेशंस ऑफ सच क्लासिकल थ्योरी इमर्ज ह्यूमन रिलेशन थ्योरी इन द बैकड्रॉप केव and it provided us idea about the nature of man at workplace over the time what happened some a scholar particularly c i bernard herbert simon and other said that we should understand the human behavior at workplace so during that point of time means it is about 1930s rensis likert even chris argeris douglas macgregor abraham maslow came in the field of management in the field of public private organizations and they delve into the core concept of administrative human behavior at work please ab yahi pe lensis likert sahab aate hain and they contributed and they explained the real nature of organization so he was the the uh, the scholar of michigan university united state of america and he wrote a very popular book that was the new pattern of management with that book he identified the changing nature of the organizations and the environment he recognized he identified that look organization have changed many fold and to understand that change he conducted the extensive research what research it was to so michigan university has sponsored over 40 research under the leadership of rensis likert and it cost about 15 million on the basis of that research it identified that the global nature of organization has changed now there is a glo- growing competition from the different sector again now individual freedom demand for individual freedom at workplace become very inevitable become very imperative har worker ab jagruk ho gaya hai wo ab educated hai and they are demanding for better opportunity better participation better recognition by the organizations to on the basis of that he declared that look traditional pattern of organization is no longer relevant ab hamara purana jo classical theory hai jo hamare administrative management theory hai these are become irrelevant we need to have a new set new strategy for modern organization it happened and to uh, explain such a modern organizational uh, f- form or their structure he on the basis of their research suggested identified multiple things in 
रिफरेंस ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पहली बात जो ये आइडेंटिफाई करते हैं वेरी फर्स्ट थिंक नोटेड एक्नोलेज बाय रेंसिस लिकर्ट वॉज द सुपरविजन और लीडरशिप स्टाइल तो ड्यूरिंग द रिसर्च कंडक्टेड कैरीड आउट एट द यूनाइटेड स्टेट ही आइडेंटिफाइड दैट देर आर टू डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ लीडर प्रिवेल फाउंड इन आवर सोसाइटी इन आवर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द फर्स्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सिक्स द ऑप्टिम प्रोडक्शन द डिजायर्ड रिजल्ट फ्रॉम द वर्कर्स और ही सेड दैट इट इज द जॉब सेंट्रिक लीडर और मैनेजर लाइक सेड दैट इट एग्जल्ट प्रेसर फॉर द अचीवमेंट फॉर द टास्क जैसे हमारे यहां भी यू शुड को रिलेट लाइक सपोज यू कंसिडर इमेजिन देयर इज अ बैंक इंप्लॉय सो दिस बैंक इंप्लॉय बाय मैनेजर सेड टू अरेंज मिनिमम हंड्रेड न्यू अकाउंट विद इन अ मंथ तो दिस काइंड ऑफ टारगेट इज डिसाइडेड बाय द लीडर और इट इज कॉल्ड द जॉब सेंट्रिक लीडर he offer minimum self control minimum self regulation even practices very strict order rule and control over their employee likert said that it actually exhibits very little confidence even on subordinate again on other hand he identified a different type of manager different type of leader at workplace it was the employee centric uh, manager employee centric leader like suppose here consider if he say or if he share ki bhai dekho hamare organization ka target tha ki 100 bank ke naye account open ho jaye to it is your it is our duty to have such a uh, new account so that our bank will get benefit and this will be the way to have some uh, incentives some more amount at the end of month ab ye kya kar raha hai to he shares idea with their staffs their colleagues in this way what happens to so there is a very harmonious a very harmonious and very uh, very energetic very trustful environment evolves both manager and employee shares their idea even employee are, uh, are able to exercise their self control even self regulations they were considered worthful by the managers so ultimately the employee centric leader creates the environment for a participative management like it <coughs> after explanation of this two type of leader job centric and employee centric identified that this employee centric can produce a better result ye ek acha result de sakta hai to justify to satisfy this conclusion he what did to he implemented a experiment what was the experiment he exchanged he exchanged the job centric leader with a very uh, high performing organizations and employee centric leader with a low performing organization result was quite obvious the employee centric leader has achieved the desired result within the short span of time but under the influence under the control of employee centric uh, uh, product centric job centric leader gradually the high performing organization lost their pace and it become a very sluggish very slow organizations so finally likert said that the employee centric leader or management style
can pave the way for the optimum production so that it would be quite imperative for modern organization to accept the employee centric concept of leadership at workplace and uh, try to fulfill the need and desire of the worker now come to the next point here again after delving into the style of leadership this likert identified the continuum means the the sequential pattern of organization sequential pattern or successive stage of organizations he identified that there are four different style of management one can identify with the life of the organizations ek organization mein char tarah ke leadership style ho sakte hain and he i term this management system 1 2 he said very first during early stage it is exploitative authority authoritative thereafter benevolent authoritative thereafter consultative and ultimately participative form of management prevails how it prevails we will take here example of the apple company you all know it was the result of the effort made by steve jobs and their friends look here ki if we perceive or we hail that this is a very new organization there is no such relation among the management and the employee are there to दोनों एक दूसरे को नहीं जान रहे हैं इट इज वेरी अ न्यू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फ्रेश ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन दैट केस मैनेजर यूजुअली एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम द वर्कर्स दैट दे विल दे विल परफॉर्म द डिजायर टास्क विद इन एस्टिपुलेटेड टाइम तो यहां अर्ली स्टेज में यूजुअली मैनेजमेंट फॉलो एक्सप्लोइटेटिव ऑथोरिटेटिव स्टाइल वेयर मिनिमम Con, uh, minimum freedom minimum is space for self control self uh, regulation was given to this group of employee reason is quite obvious they are unaware there is no such trust there is mutual distance between the manager and the worker so in this form of organization or at this stage usually the communication follow top to bottom way no such uh, immunity privilege or innovation allowed from the workers kyunki abhi sab kuch naya hai to manager also feel put himself in fear ki bhai aage kya result hoga agar isko control nahi kare now consider it come about 1998 means about 20 year later if there is or even 97 1998 year so now consider it is about 1980s about 5 year later 5 saal baad aisa ho sakta hai ki now employee become aware with the norms rule and even the expectation of the manager in that case manager also rely so confidence upon the workers upon the staff to yahan par thode samay baad manager can allow their subordinate to express your feedback your sentiment your ideas with the managers to thode samay baad you can understand that when a relation between the management and the subordinate creates or develops subordinate now suggest manager or even manager passes the order so this way uh this way the top down as well as bottom up communication happens and this organization provides some sort of privilege some sort of immunity to their subordinate that is called 
बेनिवोलेंट ऑथोरिटेटिव ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ओवर द टाइम नाउ टेक दिस स्टेज 1998 हियर इट इज 20 ईयर ओल्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन 20 सालों में अब जो वर्कर्स है दे नो वेरी वेल हाउ टू परफॉर्म द टास्क व्हाट काइंड ऑफ रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ माय ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द यूजर्स और आवर कंज्यूमर्स डिमांड इज व्हाट दे नो ऑल सच एस्पेक्ट इन दैट केस द मैनेजर और वी कैन से द एडमिन ऑफ दैट कंपनी यूजुअली यूजुअली टेक्स एडवाइसेस एंड इवन कंसल्ट विथ देयर वेरी एक्सपीरियंस एम्प्लॉय और एम्प्लॉय से पूछा जाता है कि भाई 20 साल तुम्हारा एक्सपीरियंस है नाउ टेल मी व्हाट वुड बी द बेस्ट वे और व्हिच काइंड ऑफ प्रोडक्ट वी शुड प्रोड्यूस इन मार्केट सो दैट आवर कंपनी मे हैव बेनिफिट तो ऐसे कंडीशन में अब मैनेजर अपने एम्प्लॉय के साथ बैठकर बातें करता है और कुल मिला के ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ कंसल्टेशन विथ द एम्प्लॉय नाउ मैनेजर डिसाइड्स द ऑप्टिमम पॉलिसी अल्टीमेटली इट कम्स अबाउट 2007 तो नाउ दिस कंपनी हैज पास हैज गोन थ्रू अबाउट 30 ईयर ऑफ जर्नी After this 30 year, there may be a mutual trust, mutual understanding, even common desire, common aspiration. Now, manager ask the employee that give uh, your opinion as well as analyze my future course of action. कि हमारे भी जो imagination हम कर रहे हैं कि आने वाले समय में हम एक नया model देंगे mobile का, so you should. Check, evaluate this mobile. Would it be a successful model or not? So, ऐसे condition में अब क्या हो रहा है? तो एक participative organisation का formation हो रहा है and decision are being taken with participation of workers. So, this idea later forwarded by the Rensis Likert. कि देखो early stage exploitative authoritative system. The manager unknown with the workers, worker unknown with the norms, rule, aspiration of the organization. In that case, usually what happens to organization follow very strict rule, regulation, one way communication over the time. Over the time, what happens? Organization understand that employee are worthful, so they may be given. Uh, given opportunity to express their view and opinion, so in that case, the benevolent and with more uh, freedom for communication evolve. At last, uh, second last consultative here management consults with employee and thereafter decides the policy. And finally, it comes participative. Hmm. Model of management where decision is being taken on the basis of participation of workers. Okay, so Likert identified that if organization has gone through with the uh, very uh, very healthy experiences with long duration with a very mature stage. So in that case, employee. And management should consider participative style will be the ultimate form of organization. So last year UPSC has asked the same question that usually organization passes through uh, passes from system one to system four. How it passes now you can easily uh, write this explain this question I think so. About next linking pin model, it was a unique interpretation of Rensis Likert. Likert explained that look, in any organization, a person, person involved with two different kind of groups, two different unions. At once, he may be the member of the superior group. As well as he may be the leader of subordinate group. 
in that case this person can may have idea about the demand about the aspiration of subordinate as well as the value the goal or the objective of higher superior level so he can be the means of communication means of coordination between the subordinate and su- uh, subordinate and superordinate group to ab tak ye jo model tha linking pin means role of a middleman were avoided if we uh, provide this linking pin person or a middleman opportunity to express highlight the desire of subordinate and the order of superordinate we may have better synergy at workplace to is baat ko rensis likert ne kaha and he suggested he endorsed that it should be considered at workplace that role of this person connected connecting person may be vital may be uh, may be very decisive theek hai ab now last we will discuss here managing conflict to dekho a uh, conflict resolution was a uh, first invented a uh, first investigated by mary parker follett we all know that mary parker follett during 1930s identify that conflict at workplace is very common very usual it is a result of the differences difference of opinion this idea later explained enhanced by the likert as well to so likert said no issue you should consider it is inevitable means it will sure to be happen ye hoga hi hoga so we must consider conflict can be addressed resolved by two different way the first way shall be win win loss strategy win loss strategy is kind of strategy that prescribes one party should give up their demand ek party apna demand chhod de and other party may have the satisfaction with the result dusre party ko pura ka pura share mile but likert said no win loss strategy may create conditions for reemergence of conflict in future bhavishya mein dobara hoga like yahan pe correlate karo ki we all know what happened with first world war germany was forced to hand over some coal mines even uh, said to pay the war expenditure ab itni badi samasya thi dear after what happened to hitler emerged and it created a new war new uh, new condition to likert said no we should always follow win win strategy what is win win strategy to it is similar it is similar to the strategy forwarded by the mary parker follett it is kind of integration of the conflict dispute or differences like fall fall it like it say we should invent we should uh, design a new strategy for the resolution of the ongoing dispute if we have a very dynamic resolution and that resolution may satisfy the need of both party in that case it will create a perpetual peace at workplace or it may ultimately provide benefit to the organization and management to dono ko fayda hoga kyunki dispute khatam ho gaya dono ko benefit mil raha hai to this was some core idea given by the rensis likert this way it is here look upsc once asked question as i told earlier on the topic this management system 1 and 4 again uh, it may possible they may ask the theory of uh, rensis likert in detail 
तो वी शुड प्रिपेयर टॉपिक इन द वे वी कैन राइट द एंसर वेरी स्विफ्टली वेरी ईजीली ओके तो आई थिंक आई हैव डिस्कस्ड सम क्रक्स ऑफ रेंसिस लिकल थ्योरी we discuss in the next video a new thinker of public administration till then bye bye